All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for our main event of the evening. Let's keep the energy in the room. Come on, Brisbane, make some noise! It's time for Beatdown! Main event of the evening. This one brought to you with thanks to Len Cole Building Systems. Introducing you to our two fighters. First of all, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in officially 61.6. Five kilos. From Castle Hill, he's trained out of the Showtime Fight Club. His professional record, seven fights, four wins and three losses. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he is back. This is Shane Showtime Parker! His opponent standing across in... The red corner weighed in officially 61.65 kilos. From right here, Brisbane, the River City, Queensland, trained out of the base training centre. His professional record, 15 fights, 8 wins and just the 7 losses. A man needs no introduction anywhere across Australia. Brisbane makes some noise. He's all energy, all action. Mr. Anywhere, Anytime, this is... That's the Peter Hickbot. All right, Shane. All right, gentlemen, welcome. We reach out of the rules and all my expectations. This is my command of times. Defend yourselves at time. Hook them up. Good luck to you both. Come ready to fight. Well, don't we have the best seat in the house for this main event on Beatdown Promotions for tonight? We're watching these bands and weights go head to head. Let's do it. And thank you to Lanko Building Systems making it possible for all your steel framing and truss needs. Get in contact with the steel experts at Lanko Building Systems. Lanko.com.au for more info. Guns blazing already 10 seconds into this fight. I like Logan using feints. They set up some of those strikes and Shane Parker hitting the shot very early and Paul Logan looking to hit that kilo. Parker a little frenetic to get that off. And Paul just chomping down on it like a dog in a bone. Wow, Parker wanted the shot and Logan said you have it. The boys are fired up and so is the crowd here tonight, Jake. How electric is this energy? Oh, it's fantastic. These guys, they just know. They know from the last show and the show before that, and especially when Paul Logan's fighting. These fights are just insane. They're fantastic. There's no belts on the line. There's no belts that people can win and then hold on to. They are just good fights every, each and every time, and this co-main is no different. This main song. I don't know if I could handle another main event. <laughs> well, we're definitely... Well overfed tonight with this one, and it's it's so interesting. Both these boys have in the past four at flyweight, but at bantamweight, they're still keeping that same pace. It's it's non-stop. 100%. The boys are well fed. Having cut down to 57 before, it means a lot when you get that little bit extra. And with the style of both of them, it counts for a lot. And speaking of style, Paul Loga said... He doesn't have that many finishes, despite being known as a guy that will get you out of your seat. And I kind of have to defend him in one regard, because when he starts striking on people, they almost go into, into a defensive spiral. They grab hold of it. Absolutely. They don't want to trade back. Like so it's very said, difficult for him to get that finish. Like that last fight, you sometimes can't do anything about the reaction of your opponent, and therefore it makes it really hard to get that finish that you were maybe searching for or are capable of. But um, here we see that... We sort of shut down and we've gone from guns are blazing to a to a bit of a stagnant ground position but Paul Loga on top and dominating. He's doing exactly that. Shane Parker just trying to minimize the damage almost by keeping the posture of Loga down. Loga just showing some of those upgraded skills he's obviously got from base training center and his time there with Damian Brown. He's taking the back, he's got the hooks in. Parker doing well to Try and survive getting the choke hand off. Jaden, what are your options if you're Loga on the back here? 
He's, he's doing a good job, but it, it looks like Parker's doing the right thing by grabbing his hand and pulling back down. The arm that's trying to strangle him. And this is this is great work by Paul just jumping on top. He realized he's gonna lose the position, so may as well just take a dominant striking position. Oh, and he's wrapped up the neck and sat down, but Shane Parker just too slithery, gets that head out. And Logan finds himself on the ground. Sacrifice position there going for that submission attempt after having such success on top. As we can see, both boys super explosive, so I guess they can reverse the position at any moment, and that's sort of what happened before with Shane Parker, getting, finding his way to get the underhook and turning it around here. Parker went for a choke of his own, and Logan respected it immediately. <laughs> this just goes to show, it's not your atypical Logan fight, this is more Shane Parker's territory, but Logan's more than happy to trade, whether it strikes or trade in this grappling exchange. Maybe it's a testament for what you said earlier. These boys are here to have fun. They really want to test themselves uh, um, more personally than, than professionally. And, and you can tell they're here to fight, if anything. I, I would put this more of a fight than an MMA. How good is it? And we love it. I love it. It's amazing. Suit. Shane Parker just doing exactly what you said, just dropping down on the leg block. Why not? Exposing that heel there. Oh, and it pops out. But Parker! It's almost like both boys are going for things that they wouldn't usually go for. Heel hooks, guillotines, sacrifice the positions. You know, you're just, you're just throwing up things and seeing how it works. <laughs> both have great experience, though, nullifying each other's problem. Parker just showing the same old form, isn't he? Fuck, he hasn't lost a step. <laughs> Floating over the top, doing some of those Showtime things. At the end of this round, we haven't seen either boys stop at one moment. Oh, and you can hear those shots to the ribs. Parker tries to build up some sort of mat return. Stop! What a great round. Insane. We really got treated to a bit of everything in that one. It started guns of blazing on the feet. We got into a bit of a clinch work there. Made it to the ground. Both boys had success on top. Couple of submission attempts from both men. What, what, else, what more could we want, guys? And that was a fantastic <laughs> shot, just picking up the low kick of Loga and Loga throwing on back. The beauty of this fight is something you alluded to, Janae. There's no one protecting their O. These boys have been in there. They've had their lickings. They've given them out. There's no one defending a belt trying to get to the final bell. They're just getting after it. They're just trying stuff. Absolutely. And and that's so exciting for them. I, I love this this season that they're in. They get to, to really just enjoy themselves out there. And it's sort of another reason why MMA is almost overtaking boxing because we just get to see everything, you know? People putting it all on the line. Somebody, unfortunately, has to lose. But either way, we get a bloody show out of it. That's for sure. As we head into round two of our main event of the evening, bantamweight division, two former flyweights, high octane fighters. Oh, and Parker measuring that one, but it looked like Logan got the better of it. And again, that patented Logan right hand a third time. It might have been an eye poke there. Then how's Parker? He says, "No, nah, bro, you're right. It's a punch." He just owns up to it. It's that, it's that experience there, being able to sort of chat to your opponent. I mean, these boys know each other. They've known each other for a long time in, in the scene. They knew eventually they were going to meet, and here they are. It's nothing but respect, but, you know, these accidents do happen sometimes. It is one of those things. You take the good with the bad in MMA. It's just what happens with the gloves. I mean, when you've got clinching involved, with these types of gloves, when you're throwing, you're going from one minute in a clinch and then you're out of a clinch. I've seen the replay of it here. Very difficult to see. It looked like a punch. It just hit in the very, it just hit in the right spot. Sometimes it's hard to tell. No pace lost, at least. We know these boys are straight back at it. If anything, they've got a little bit of a breath back. <laughs> they've got an assignment. And, and it's gone. <laughs> Parker's down, and he's back up again. Still maintaining such explosiveness going up a weight division. 
can tell these boys are, yeah, well fed, like you said, but nonetheless, still athletic. Huggins does not stop. Oh, almost hits the chin. A logo floating. It's yeah, hard to see how there. Parker hit the ground there. Oh. Logo just upgraded to the mount. Raining strikes. Parker making his way out the back for once. Again, that explosiveness does them both justice. Creates a scramble, but... Oh, Logo could be under the chin. Seems to have shucked him off enough to take that away. And immediately elbow strikes. Parker just so much to think about. The choke, the elbows, it's on the jaw. Parker notorious, really hard to finish. And immediately on to the next one is Logan. It's almost pick your poison, isn't it, Janae? It's back and forth. It's like going for the submission attempt, back to the ground and pound. And that's all Peter Hickman wants to see. Both Logan brothers win it here tonight. Absolutely ecstatic! What a moment for, for beatdown promotion number four. What a way to finish it off for the night. If you could feel the electricity in this room. Everyone on the edge of their feet. I almost felt like we got a bit crowded there for a second. I can feel people breathing down our necks because 100%. they still don't want to miss a minute of that action. It was like the room got smaller. <laughs> Real quick. We did have the best seat in the house, so I can understand why people want to be here. But well and truly deserved because that kept us on our toes the whole time. You never knew who was going to come out on top. One moment one was up, the other one was on top. It was just such a back and forth, but eventually Loga found a home. That was insane. I mean, and Loga's ability to just chain it all together. As we cut to the replay of the boys throwing down the floor. Ah, oh, such great sportsmanship here. We've got Parker carrying around Loga. We knew from the get-go, we knew at weigh-ins these boys were, were nothing but modest. They were ready to put on a show, though, fiery in each other's faces, but nothing but respect during the weigh-ins and this whole fight week experience. And another victory for Paul Loga in the beatdown promotions cage. Jubilant and victory, Shane Parker, just the epitome of sportsmanship. Always puts himself out there, leaves his heart out there, for better or worse. We haven't seen him for a few years, but honestly, I miss the man, and I'd, I'd love to see more from him. It's incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get set to make this one official, our main event sponsor, Lenko Building Systems. Put your hands together for both fighters. Great energy in the room, great sportsmanship shown by both. But ladies and gentlemen, one minute 54 into round number two. Your winner by TKO, and it goes to the red corner, Paul Logan! And now also, ladies and gentlemen, we do, we've got, there's a pretty big check that's just arrived in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. It's got your name on it, Paul Loga. So this one here, ladies and gentlemen, our main event win bonus sponsor here, Vault. Put your hands together for Vault Business Advisors. This one goes to Paul Loga, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll grab a couple of words with their winner. That's right. I wouldn't be letting that check go too far, so someone might cash it on you. Paul Loga, incredible fight we saw from you on the last beatdown show. This one went to a whole new level. The energy, the action, what a night. It was. It was a good night. Uh, I got to share the car with my little brother, whoever he is. He's probably drunk somewhere. Uh, it was amazing. I never thought I would share a card with him, but here we are. All my teammates that fought. Shout out to Joel. Drew, Liam, amazing guys. Um, who else? Timmy up there. Timmy's finding a way harder fight than this, brother. We love you. Same with Brad. Fuck cancer. <sighs> there was a lot of build-up. There was a lot of anticipation around this fight. You could feel it with the videos. You could feel it at the weigh-in. 
both of you left it all out there and a great show of respect at the end between yourself and Shane Parker as well. Yeah, um, it's no disrespect to getting in his face at the face off. You know, I respect the guy who's been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for a long time. It's to get this fucking crowd hyped up, eh? <laughs> you know, they want a bit of bullshit. And here I am, I'm ready to fucking give it to them. Now, last time you and I spoke on the mic, you had a fairly direct message for anyone out there. Do you still share that same message? 100%. These band mates, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay. I'm just getting fucking started. They know it's breathed life into this career. You're all fucked. What are you going to do with the check? All right, this is going straight to the missus. We are expecting a baby girl. Baby, I got us a pram. Let's go. Look, Paul, there's so many people in this venue here tonight for you. This is a big moment for you. Last but not least, I'll give you the mic. I'm sure there's a few words you'd like to say and a lot of people you'd probably like to thank again. So I'll hand it over to you. All yours. Uh, number one, my missus. She's 33 weeks pregnant up there, still supporting me. Um, base training centre, honestly, they breathed life into my career. I got there, I thought I was done. They most taken me. And here I am. And I'm going to keep fucking going, making these guys proud. <clears throat> and I want to thank all my sponsors. I can't even think of all all right now, but thank you. You know who you are. Thanks to my little brother. See you in the next beatdown, hopefully. You! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Make some noise. He's the man of the moment. This is Paul Logan.